in situ hybridization is a type of hybridization that uses a labeled complementary DNA, RNA or modified nucleic acid strand to localize a specific DNA or RNA sequence in a portion or section of tissue, or, if the tissue is small enough, in the entire tissue, in cells, and in circulating tumor cells. This is distinct from immunohistochemistry, chemistry, which usually localizes proteins in tissue sections. In situ hybridization is a powerful technique for identifying specific mRNA species within individual cells and tissue sections, providing insights into physiological processes and disease pathogenesis. However, in situ hybridization requires that many steps be taken with precise optimization for each tissue examined and for each probe used. In order to preserve the target mRNA within tissues, it is often required that cross-linking fixatives be used. In situ hybridization is used to reveal the location of specific nucleic acid sequences on chromosomes or in tissues, a crucial step for understanding the organization, regulation, and function of genes. The key techniques currently in use include, in situ hybridization to mRNA with oligonucleotide and RNA probes, analysis with light and electron microscopes, Whole mount in situ hybridization, double detection of RNAs and RNA plus protein, and fluorescent in situ hybridization to detect chromosomal sequences. DNAISH can be used to determine the structure of chromosomes. Fluorescent DNAISH can, for example, be used in medical diagnostics to assess chromosomal integrity. RNAISH is used to measure and localize RNAs within tissue sections, cells, whole mounts, and circulating tumor cells. In situ hybridization was invented by Joseph G. Gould and Mary Lou Pudgeu. Process For hybridization histochemistry, sample cells and tissues are usually treated to fix the target transcripts in place and to increase access of the probe. As noted above, the probe is either a labeled complementary DNA or, now most commonly, a complementary RNA. The probe hybridizes to the target sequence at elevated temperature, and then the excess probe is washed away. Solution parameters such as temperature, salt, and or detergent concentration can be manipulated to remove any non-identical interactions. Then, the probe that was labeled with either radio, Fluorescent or antigen labeled bases is localized and quantified in the tissue using either autoradiography, fluorescence microscopy, or immunohistochemistry, respectively. ISH can also use two or more probes, labeled with radioactivity or the other non radioactive labels, to simultaneously detect two or more transcripts. An alternative technology, branched DNA assay, can be used for RNA in situ hybridization assays with single molecule sensitivity without the use of radioactivity. This approach can be used to visualize up to four targets in one assay, and it uses patented probe design and bDNA signal amplification to generate sensitive and specific signals. Samples are fixed, then treated to allow RNA target accessibility. Target specific probes hybridize to each target RNA. Subsequent signal amplification is predicated on specific hybridization of adjacent probes. A typical target-specific probe will contain 40 oligonucleotides, resulting in 20 oligopairs that bind side by side on the target for detection of mRNA and lnCRNA, and two oligos or a single pair for mRNA detection. Signal amplification is achieved via a series of sequential hybridization steps. A preamplifier molecule hybridizes to each oligopair on the target specific RNA, then multiple amplifier molecules hybridize to each preamplifier. Next, multiple label probe oligonucleotides hybridize to each amplifier molecule. A fully assembled signal amplification structure a Euro OE tray Euro has 400 binding sites for the label probes. When all target specific probes bind to the target mRNA transcript, an 8,000-fold signal amplification occurs for that one transcript. Separate but compatible signal amplification systems enable the multiplex assays. The signal can be visualized using a fluorescence or bright field microscope. Basic steps for digoxygen in labeled probes. 
permeabilization of cells with proteinase K to open cell membranes, binding of mRNAs to marked RNA probe, antibody phosphatase binding to RNA probe, staining of antibody, the protocol takes around 2 euro 3 days and takes some time to set up. Some companies sell robots to automate the process. As a result, large-scale screenings have been conducted in laboratories on thousands of genes. The results can usually be accessed via websites. See also, chromogenic in situ hybridization. References Jin, L. Lloyd, R. V. In situ hybridization, methods and applications. Journal of Clinical Laboratory Analysis 11, 2 Euro 9 DOI, 10.1002 slash, SICI, 1098-2825, 1997, 11, 13.0 CO. 2F. PMID 9021518. Comprehensive and Annotated in Situ Hybridization Histochemistry. RNA sequencing of pancreatic circulating tumor cells implicates WNT signaling in metastasis, the local transcriptome in the synaptic neuropil revealed by deep sequencing and high-resolution imaging. External links, in situ hybridization at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, in situ hybridization of RNA and mRNA probes to cells, CTCs, and tissues, Whole mount in situ hybridization of RNA probes to plant tissues, preparation of complex DNA probe sets for 3D fish with up to six different fluoroclomes, transcript in situ hybridization of whole mount embryos for phenotype analysis of RNAi treated drosophila, in situ databases, ghost, see intestinalist transcription factors, zebrafish gene expression search, mouse MGIGXD gene expression, 1.